Here is your instructional video for your four station laundry trailer. The propane tanks are used to power the laundry as well as your Navion hot water. These tanks, you will have to get these filled. On the front, you have a jack for leveling. You also have four jacks on all four corners. And you can see them here. To level those jacks, you'll put the tool inside the right side and crank it and you can crank it up and down. The left side here is to grease uh, the jacks as well. And that should be done biannually where you grease the jacks and you can level the trailer using the four corner jacks. You have keys in the mechanical room that are clearly labeled. Uh, one key will unlock the door rail. The other key will unlock the door itself. You can see also your uh, the other jack points here on the back. This is your power supply. You will need a 50 amp power supply in order to run the trailer. The key for this access door is also in the mechanical room and this will give you access to the sight gauge that allows you to see how full the gray water tank is and also allow a pumper truck to pump out the tank. On the side with the mechanical room, you also have a standard fresh water inlet uh, using a standard garden hose. Here is your mechanical room. Inside this manual, you'll have all of your keys and also your plumbing manifold labels. The plumbing manifold is here and every number corresponds to a different part of the trailer. Inside the manual, it'll tell you what those numbers represent as to what part of the trailer. When you do first operate the trailer, you'll get the propane tanks filled and you'll need to, uh, to turn on all of the plumbing valves, including the propane. So the pr propane comes in through here, so this should be turned on. And that powers your hot water on demand tank. As far as the plumbing valves, all of these should be turned on. The only one that you do not need to turn on is this one, and it clearly is labeled antifreeze only and we will go over that later as to how to antifreeze the trailer. Fresh water from the trailer comes in from the outside and it'll come in through this line. When it comes in through this line, you have two options. It can go in through the right here if you turn this on and that will feed the pump for the trailer. So that's one option and that's probably the preferred option. The other option is if you turn this valve on and this one off, the fresh water will come up and it'll feed your fresh water tank. If you are going to use the fresh water tank, uh, this one just before reserve, it is just a 100 gallon tank. But if you are going to use it, you can make sure that that's filled. And then when this valve is on, then the fresh water is coming in through the system. So if you're gonna use a fresh water tank, you would have this on this one off and then the that would feed the system but typically you will want to have this off and the fresh water will come in from the outside it will not go to the fresh water tank you'd bypass that you'd have this on and then it would flow into the system and then of course you'll want to turn this valve on as well these two valves should be on allowing a hot and cold water to come in and out of the Navion hot water tank. You do have a heater in the mechanical room if you are going to operate this when it's cold outside or if you're going to have the trailer sit in an area below freezing with water in it you need to have the trailer plugged into electricity and this on 
so that it keeps all of this room warm. We do recommend that the trailer be emptied before you transport it. To empty the fresh water tank is that valve and it'll simply drain out the bottom. You can see this other valve and that would be a, an overflow in case the fresh water tank is about to overflow. It'll actually go through that PVC pipe and uh, bypass so it doesn't overflow and go outside. So you need to make sure that the fresh water tank is emptied before you leave and also the gray water tank is emptied before you travel. That would be our recommendation. You do have extra outlets. Everything is clearly labeled. You have your breaker box here. Everything clearly labeled. All of your lights and fans and thermostats are ran off of this 12 volt system, which is here. And here's all the switches. So you have the utility room light, you have exterior lights, interior lights. There's pop-up fans in the laundry room and then also the thermostat. So this is where you have controls over that. If you're going, not going to use the trailer in the winter and it's going to be below freezing, you need to have either the trailer plugged in and that heater on and just let it sit with that heater on. Or if you don't have access to electricity, you'll need to winterize the trailer. To do so, you will pump antifreeze through here and you want it to go through here, have that on and go through the system. In doing so, you wanna make sure all of your plumbing is on. This is to antifreeze the trailer. Turn this on as well. Have those off because you do not want antifreeze pumping through the system. Once you start hand pumping antifreeze through the trailer and you have the trailer plugged in, that pump will automatically turn on and start pumping it through the entire trailer. These of course need to be on so that it goes through all of these areas. When you're doing that, you should turn on the sink in the laundry room. Once you see antifreeze coming out of the sink, you can turn it off and then you know that the trailer is completely winterized. If you have any further questions, you can contact me. When you have the doors open, in order to fold the stairs down, you simply turn this blue handle. And it will allow the stairs to go down. Going inside your trailer, we do have the straps up for transportation. You can feel free to remove these. We also did, did put in extra wood for transportation and those can also be removed as well, along with the foam. You do have a heater in here, two floor drains that will go into the gray water tank, your air conditioning unit, which is controlled through the thermostat, which is above the utility sink. Feel free, of course, to peel off the plastic. We kept this on for protection during, during shipment. These are your pop-up fans. And you can, if you have them up, you'll allow fresh air to, to come out. And if you have them like this, it'll have fresh air come in. Your LED lights are controlled inside the utility room, but they also have, you can also go up to the ceiling and turn them off and on that way. Washer and dryer units instructions are in the mechanical room, but should be like any other washer and dryer. You do have a full washdown package. So if you did come in here and water got in here, it's okay. And you can squeegee everything into the floor of drain. But you can see you have plenty of room. If you do need to adjust the tension on your a door closer, the Allen key is right here. You have a standard lock as well. And as mentioned, the keys for the doors are in the mechanical room, clearly labeled. The trailer has been winterized. You can see pink in the system. So we would recommend that you flush out the system, uh, plug it into fresh water and run, you can run the sink and that'll um, flush out the, the pink antifreeze. 